All right, guys, Luke from 2029C here, and I'm joined by Liam, and today we're going to be doing a match commentary of a China match. And in this match, we have some interesting robot designs that we're going to talk about really quickly. So as Liam pointed out earlier to me, he said that this robot here actually has a hook intake, but it only has the hook on the very, very top level. So can you tell us about that and like how that's better than a regular hook intake? Yeah, so what it allows you to do is keep the speed of having the the hood intake with having everything flex wheels leading up to the hook, but you don't have to tune the compression like you do in a hood because you just have the hook at the very end to slap it on. As you can see right there, it it's looks pretty be fast. Very yeah. I watch the match to see how consistent their robots are, but um, so far it looks pretty good. Red here took the auto bonus, so... Blue, what they try to do here is they just rush the corner right away, right? Even without any rings, like they had one ring on the robot and they already rushed the corner, right? And as we've said earlier, the faster you can get into the corner, right? The, the better shot you have at winning the game. And that's exactly what China's showing us here with these matches and with all these teams just pushing the corners right away. Absolutely. And you see Red actually does win that push fight with Blue in the corner for the positive zone. So, and, and you can still see Red doesn't have a full goal, but they have Red Rings nearby them that when they get the opportunity, they can quickly exit the plus zone to get those rings and then come back before anyone can steal that zone, which allows them to have a much earlier control of the positive zones than we've been seeing thus far. Yeah, by the way, this is an amazing intake design. It has not missed a single ring yet. It got a whole goal without missing a single ring. Which one? The one you're, we were just talking about, the one with the top. Yeah. And then here, red, yeah, as, as blue goes away, red just starts taking advantage and just taking, you know, taking rings up. And, you know, blue can't get to them in time. The second blue tries to get to the corner there, red just pulls back. Something I see really important is making sure you have very, very good excel with that full full nearly full goal because if you can excel super quickly to get to that ring and come all the way back that could be the difference between you coming back to that positive zone and them intersecting you and getting control of that yeah so i'm pretty sure red wins this match here because i'm pretty sure the other red team had a goal in here or if they even if they didn't they still were up on the auto there so yeah good match played by reds and I, mean, I look forward to seeing that type of intake being used more because I think that's going to be very powerful because that basically you have the advantages of both a hook intake and a hood intake, right? With the flex wheels just making the transition portion really fast and the hook on the very top just pr providing really excellent consistency. Yeah. So and that's about it for this match. I think the takeaway here is, I mean, no matter what, I think pushing that corner at the very smart is a very smart decision there for any team and also just of course getting control of the third goal always